Time for another edition of West Texas Wild here with Dr. Ray Matlack. And uh, we're talking about uh, something else that lives in the ground. You know, we've talked about all sorts of little varmints uh, over the past, but what are we talking about today? Uh, today we have one of four ground squirrels that we really have if you count the if you count the prairie dog. We really generally don't call prairie dogs ground squirrels, but they are. They're a big squirrel. Um, and then so in the panhandle of Texas, we have three little guys that are, are pretty nondescript. And um, it's, it's one of these things that you may know you have them in your yard. You might see them on the golf course. Course, um, but they're they're pretty widespread. Um, the, this that we're looking at here is is one of the three. This is the Mexican ground squirrel. Um, adorable little things. They don't seem to, to cause as much um, controversy as prairie dogs do. There's a lot of controversy around prairie dogs, of course. Some people like them and some people um, certainly don't. But these guys, they, they make very, very small burrows. They can occur in your lawn. You won't, even, you won't even hardly know they're there. They don't make a pile of dirt or anything like that. Um, and if you're fortunate enough to have them around, they're just kind of neat to look at. Um, they feed on a variety of things. They'll feed on um, seeds during a lot of the year and plant material, of course, but uh, there's a, a chunky little guy right there. <laughs> um, but um, during the rest of the year, uh, or during the summer, for example, they'll feed on a lot of insects and things of that nature. So they're kind of, kind of neat little animals that are running around in, in the, you know, our mowed lawns in some cases and just kind of neat to look at. Oh, well, it's, it's pretty handy that they don't really tear up the ground around, you know, like Right, you know, prairie dog. What uh, eats a lot of the grass and makes those big mounds. So yeah, right. And these guys, um, they'll feed on a lot of seeds and things of that nature. So they're not feeding on on the things that might put them into conflict with humans as much as something else. So you you generally will never. I've never seen a place where you can look out and tell that they've they've really scoured the ground or or eaten up all the vegetation. So a lot of times you can have them in a very healthy lawn. I've seen them on golf courses, and you have to walk up and look very carefully to find their burrows. So they they kind of exist in harmony for the most part. Oh, I was going to say, so you can find them even in the, the center of town at times. Yeah, if you have a big enough open area, you know, you need some open ground. Um, but yeah, you bet you can. You can find them golf courses, cemeteries, places like that are very common to find them. They're easier to see there because if you're out in the prairie, that vegetation is a little taller and hard, harder to see them. All right. Well, that's something to go out and look for. You know, you get out in our local parks and stuff. Uh, Ray, yeah. thanks once again. We'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. Huh? All right.